Hello and welcome. It's time to do business with me, Beverly Broom. Telecom's giant MTN Ghana is expected to pay about 1.44 billion CDs dividend to shareholders from the 16th of June this year. This was after shareholders at its annual general meeting today approved a final dividend of 85 pesos per share. George Riafe has more in the following report. It's coming after the company paid an interim dividend of three pesos last year due to its sterling financial performance. This will bring together the total dividend that will be paid to 11.5 pesos per share from last year. It is coming after MTN posted 2 billion Ghana cities in profits after tax for 2021. The dividend payment represents more than 40% increase over what it paid in 2020. The 1.44 billion Ghana cities total dividend payout represents about 70% of MTN's profits recorded for last year. But could MTN have done more in terms of the payments to shareholders? That's the question I posed to the chief executive of MTN Ghana, Salama Dadivo, after the annual general meeting. So it represents over 43 percent increase from last year or from the year before and i mean the way we determine what's adequate in terms of dividend is looking at our cash flow we also look at our debt covenants and all our obligations to the business to make sure we can still continue to operate with minimal risk in terms of our finances and um, so for this year we think 70.6 percent of our profit after tax is adequate and that's how we arrived at the 85 pesos that we've given out this time around. The additional localization we've agreed is specific to Ghanaians. And therefore, this process we've embarked on since the IPO is restricted to Ghanaians only. So this entire process is focused on Ghanaians. I think three months is about a good timeline to, to get some confidence in what we're seeing. Basically, what happens is the trends fluctuate a lot at the beginning. And after a while, it starts to stabilize. Once it starts to stabilize, that's when we'll start to have confidence around the observations and what the normalized consumer behavior has, has ended up being. And so at this point, we continue to observe. We're cautious not to rush into decisions, but also not to rush into conclusions until we get to a stage where we have more confidence in what we're seeing. This year's annual general meeting was done virtually with just little number of shareholders present at MTA's head office here in Accra. But board chairman Ishmo Yamsin noted that the profits posted didn't come easy as a result of the challenging business environment. In 2021, MTN Ghana recorded strong growth in service revenue and managed its cost prudently, leading to growth in profit after tax of 43.5% year on year to 2 billion Ghana cities. After reviewing the full year performance of the company in 2021, the board shall be recommending a final dividend of 8.5 pesos on ordinary shares to be approved by shareholders at today's meeting. This is, this is further addition to the interim dividend of 3 pesos per share declared by the board and paid after reviewing the half year performance of the company. This therefore brings the total dividend for the year if the resolution is approved today to 11.5 pesos per share and represent 70.6% of profit after tax and a 43.8% increase in dividend per share payout in 2021 over 2020. The shareholders of MTN at the annual general meeting also approved three special resolutions. These include increasing the number of directors from 12 to 13, approving non-executive director's fee. They also gave the board approval to increase the number of shares allocated for the employees of MTN from 4.4% to 5% of the total issued shares by the company.